All right, today's video is about the HBX Rampage 18859 Echo. And as you can see here, there are lights added, and there is no added cost to this because HBX was nice enough to provide a port for this. Now you can add different colored lights if you want to. I use green because I happen to have green laying around. And that's basically the idea here. And there's just two little LED lights. And I believe, well I could be wrong, but I believe all the HBX products have a port for lighting. And I'll show you how to hook it up here. Here's a brief glimpse of what it kind of looks like in the daylight. Of course, you can always put yours somewhere else. I just put them up front because that's where I wanted them. I'm going to take the body off and I'll show you how this is done real easily. Let's see if we can move this over here. There's a port right here. Let's get this focus. This little port right here, this little tiny one, is the one you're going to tap into. Which, you see the little lights right there. Let me turn this off. Okay, that might make life easier, I don't know. Focus. So, this connector is fairly common in a lot of drones and some uh, Bluetooth stereos and speaker connections and small portable devices and so I don't know next time you take something apart this little connector just test it and see if it fits in there properly and if you don't know LEDs only light in one direction are technically a one-way diode meaning positive can only flow in theory only one direction but I have these wired in series, so that kind of baffles my mind how that works. And the reason why I have these wired in series is because these are probably only 1.5 volts, maybe. Or maybe even up to 3, I don't know. But so they're, they're still extremely bright for the amount of current that they're getting. So I wired them in series to kind of split the voltage. And here's a little diagram of how that's done. So you got your connector, which is here, little connector. You're going to take the positive lead to the positive side of your LED, run it through. Take your negative lead, run it into the positive lead of your other LED. And then the negative side of the LED, you're going to run it back to your connector. And I believe that's a 7 volt out. I didn't put a DMM on it to find out. Fucking focus, man. Anyway, that's how that's done. It's real easy. It's it technically didn't cost me anything. And here's uh, the battery tray. If you've watched the first video, this is the expanded battery tray. All I've basically done is put a little couple of screws right there, a little washer up here. So that way it just kind of holds the rubber band in place. And it's you know there's still room to get a little bit larger battery in there, but and it doesn't change the CG that much. It really doesn't. Oh, and I, I did, if I didn't mention it in the first video, I turned the rear shocks upside down. That seems to be more beneficial to preventing leaking. HBX shocks are better than the WL Toy shocks, but the front shocks, this right here, this mount up here, just doesn't quite clear the arm properly, so they cannot be flipped upside down. So it is what it is with the, with the front shocks. And then in case you're first time watching this, these are wheels and tires at the WL Toys A979, A979B monster truck. That helps you give you a little more top speed, but reduces your low end acceleration.